That's definitely got to be tilted up. Just going to give it a little tweak so it's holding the cards inside the thing. I might have to add a little something to hold it. But I'm not sure at this point. Might just be weld on sides in the front. I kind of like the monster though. He's got little legs. Um, might have to add little feet to him. Feel like he needs feet. He's a little top heavy right now. Tell you what, let me try. Ah, he fell over. Fall down, go boom. Fall down, go boom. That's what I'm looking for. So, if I can take this stuff back on itself. Then now, if I take this up like that, and I curve these down, give it some dimension. I feel like that might just be enough to make it. And those I did, well, then I'm wondering if they'll bend a little easier straight. There we go. And then I'm thinking we're going to cut two of them. I didn't think that was going to work. All right, I'll get the bolt cutters. And everything falls down. It's torture tested. It's going to be show approved by the time it hits out there. Y'all bear with me.
Yeah. Oh yeah, the feet added a lot to it. I don't think I'm gonna give them hands because you wouldn't see them anyway. But and then wondering about something across the front there. What I might do is just take a bolt, and put it up there to hold it the day of. Um, and the best way to do that might be welding a chain to this and putting it on that. So. There's no pretty way of doing this. Yeah. We'll get that out of the way so I don't pick a fire. And then this guy. And so I'm thinking we'll attach him right there. I chose this thinner chain because I won't have to weld it into place. Uh, actually, I collect these chains from when I do light installs in houses and they're, inevitably they're going to be some chain adjustments. And also in lights that I scrap, but flexes out and then slips in there just like that. Now, at this point, the only thing I can say is I'm a little worried about the base being too small for it now. You get wind or you get people grabbing it. Um, I might add something. I gotta test it. But. Yeah, it's a little taller than I had thought about, but I think that that's going to be it right there. And honestly, I don't think it's that bad as far as even the base. So, you know what? If you're thinking about it, you might as well do it.
This is just an old candle stick holder. You guys already know I uh, recycle everything and get my hands on to. Okay, and the last thing, it is screaming for some hair of some sort. I don't think that's right. That's going to go on a bird someday. I honestly think so. Go insight into me. That's what I do here on my channel. I share all my intimate details of my life. Um, I used to have a mohawk. Anybody that follows me that used to know me in my 20s knows I had a mohawk for a lot of years. That was my thing. That was my thing before it was cool. Um, I know that's what everybody says, but it is what it is. Um, I like to give a lot of my creatures the mohawk. They're living the life that I wanted to live a lot of times. And my mohawk was curly. I always had curly hair. So think this guy is going to work and then he'll be done. Oh. Your salesman has to have hair, right? That's just a thing. And just like that, I think he's done. Um, might grind the the card holder itself a little bit just to give it kind of a the same look as the rest, but I think it's done. All right, guys.
Now, do me a favor. I've been really struggling with uh, staying like into putting out these videos. So if you like them, like and subscribe. Show me that you're out there because it's getting difficult to like, you know, every day try to make these things. Let's see. Thanks.